about the f refs isn't it oh look at me look at me i've had my hair cut i've had my hair done oh look at me mum look at me sister dad oh cousins look at me look at how sexy i look f off f off f off the lot of you To Weymouth. Beautiful, beautiful, the beautiful county of Dorset. Yes guys, welcome back to what is another video and you join me of course on the Jurassic Coast, which means one thing, 
I am doing my intro, first of all. Second of all, I am once again heading home. Uh, I'm in the middle of Dorset, in Weymouth, on my way back from that treacherous away day at Southampton. I never thought I'd be in Dorset on New Year's Eve, but there we are. It's happened. It has eventually happened. Now, I'm waiting for a bus to get to Axminster before my connecting train from Axminster all the way down to Janaland. Um, yeah, I'm recording this. I'm on my way back from Southampton, as you can see from the montage already. Painful game, as we all know. Ah, oh, joke. Referee is a joke. They outplayed us, but we got robbed at the same time. But we have to put that um, behind us now. And... We have to put that behind us and move on to our home game on New Year's Day. It's Watford we're facing this time, Elton John FC, where we had our first away day of the season back in August, Watford. We got a brilliant 0-0, that's the last time we faced them, and then obviously before that was during our time in the Championship. What a performance that 0-0 was, if you rightly remember. They played well, and we also played really well. But it's going to be different this time. We're back home. But Watford's very hit and miss. <laughs> One stage, they have a terrible game. Another stage, they are absolutely... They, they, could be, they are potentially one of, the, one of the better sides of the championship. Or if not, one of the best when they play amazingly. And that's what we've got to look out for at home for this upcoming match. Because they're very hit and miss. They could sneak away and away win. They could sneak a point to take back to Hertfordshire from Home Park. But as you all saw from our Southampton game, I'm my score prediction, I'm going to put it out there already. I'm backing us to win 1-0. Bally Mumba to get the goal he deserves after the absolute scandal that happened at St Mary's where it was a clear onside goal from Bally Mumba. It was his best performance in ages. That's why I'm backing him for Watford. Hoping he can get his confidence up because Mumba has had a really disappointing season, I can't lie, with you all so far. His best performance for me um, was the opening game against Huddersfield, which is our next away day, so that will be coming up. There's sand in my eyes, that's why I'm shutting them now. Uh, so yeah, apologies about this. <laughs> That's the one thing I forgot about being back in Dorset. It reminds me of Cornwall, home. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah. As I talk about the Southampton away day, by the way, if you haven't watched it yet, please go and watch it now because it's, it's only just come out because I've had a total disaster of editing at my friend's house with the Wi-Fi turning out to not be very good. Again, apologies for the delay of the Southampton episode. But please go and watch it while I'm in the middle of um, filming this one and, well, just something for you all to see before this game itself. But no, obviously, t right now it's 2023. When it gets dark and that 12 o'clock appears, it will be 2024. The last day of 2023 and I end up in the middle of Dorset filming my preview for Watford because I'm heading home, I'm heading back home after that Southampton away day because we have got an important home game for you all coming up. It's going to be massive. Watford and then we've got a break from the Championship because we've got our FA Cup third round against Sutton United. Bottom of League Two, must win for us in my eyes if we want to get to the fourth round. And then we are off to West Yorkshire in the middle of January to face the Terriers, Huddersfield, in what will also be a must-win game. But yeah, my score prediction, I'm going 1-0, Mumba's a score. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna underestimate Watford though, because on their day they are unbelievable to watch. They're a very good side. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens. I wouldn't be shocked if they nicked a point, to be honest. One of the few teams to nick a point at home park. Wouldn't even be shocked if they won it, to be honest with you. But we'll see what happens. Valerian is males, a very underrated manager. So we'll see what happens regarding that. We still haven't had our new manager decided yet. Gus Poyet is the favourite. Scott Parker is the second favourite. And I wouldn't mind having Scott Parker, to be fair, because his previous club, his previous club in England, was in this county right here, managed Cherryland, Bournemouth and then got sacked from Bournemouth because he um, he had a terrible life in the Premier League at the start of last season. And yeah, 
that was him gone already. But since his last club was Bournemouth, a club that's only just over two hours from us, I wouldn't be shocked if he came down to Argyle, to be honest, but I don't know. It'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. But there's been others that have been linked with us, like Michael Duff, don't want him. Paul Cook, don't want him at all. Leighton Baines, no, not yet. Gus Poyet, I wouldn't mind. Tony Mowbray, I wouldn't mind. John Eustace, I wouldn't mind. Scott Park, I'd, I'd happily take. But I know there's been about 100 applicants applying for this Argyle job. So it's going to be really interesting to see who Hallett picks at the end. But um, I've been told that this month coming, January, we will be having a new manager. And hopefully he'll keep us up for the rest of the season. But yeah, interesting one. This will be Watford. This will be really tough. 1-0 I'm going with, Mumba to get the winner and confidence going into, well, our next championship game away at Huddersfield and then also our FA Cup game against bottom of, well, near enough bottom of League 2, Sutton United. So yeah, I'm travelling back to Plymouth, you'll see more montages of it of now. Um, if you don't hear from me until the, um, I get to the ground, Happy New Year to everyone because it will be 2024 when I get to Hope Park, obviously. When, when um, just before, well, the game and all that, I give my own pre pre thought. Back to back away days. We are back home for this one. I'm travelling home at the moment. But yeah, it's a big one, guys. It is a big one. It's Watford at home. And come on, let's get revenge from the absolute scummy, scamming officials from Friday night at St Mary's and bounce back with a bang because it'll just be the most we deserve after the absolute treating like shit that we got from the officials yet again on Friday night. So yeah, we'll see you all at home park guys. Happy New Year. And yeah, my best wishes for Happy New Year from me and everyone from the Argyle way, Harvey England, Harvey Rosevere and Liam. But yeah, we'll see you all at the game. Big three points we're hopefully going to get. But I ain't going to underestimate Watford. They're a bloody good side. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green. Green army! And yeah, I'm about to catch this bus from Weymouth to Axminster and then connect the train from Axminster back to Plymouth, going past bloody St David's in Exeter along the way. And also, before I go, I'm going this way as well because I'm proving to um, the coach that I got for Southampton the correct way to get back to Plymouth or go from Plymouth to get to Southampton because we didn't go the A35 way at all and I really thought I was going to show you some coast clip montages of my travel to St Mary's but we didn't because the coach decided to freaking go Taunton for, the, um, for their own pleasure on the M5 for services and then the A303, A34 and M3. So I couldn't get to show you guys the route I was hoping for. So I do apologise for that one in the Southampton video this is. But be different this time because I'm now going on a trip that what it should have been for Southampton anyway. So yeah, we're going back home. Watford at home coming up. Come on, you greens. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please bloody hit that subscription button now. We're getting so close to 900 subs. And then the main target for now, 1K. And then we're gonna push on to 2K. Please subscribe if you haven't already. So I'm doing everything I can to produce more content for you guys. And the more subscribers and views I get, the more subs I get especially, the more content just Argar, but football in general I can produce for you all regardless and try and get more fan interviews, more cultures, more clubs, etc, etc and bring more to the Argar way as well. Please subscribe to the Argar way if you haven't done already either, our podcast channel. That's all we want right now, honestly, it'd be the most appreciative if, if possible and yeah, well honestly... We want to put ourselves out there and that's what we're going to try and do, obviously. The more support would be more appreciative at the end of the day. And yeah, if you haven't watched the Southampton video yet, please go and do so because it's only just come out just before this recording. So yeah, you can see how annoyed I was, especially you'd love that if you was a rival fan. So yeah, 
Anyway, we'll see you all back in Janaland. Good old Plymouth. Happy New Year everyone, and that means one thing, we are back in Plymouth, heading to Home Park, and that means there's one thing I can do for sure, predict our lineup to face the Hornets. Right, so today I'm going to go with Connor Hazard in goal, obviously, a back four of Lewis Gibson, Julio Plegasuelo. Kane Kessler Hayden and Joe Edwards. A midfield three of Jordan Houghton, Finn Azaz and Luke Cundall. I can't lie, I wasn't hugely impressed with Randall's performance at Southampton. So I'd put him on the bench today, bring him on in the second half. And then the front three 
Whitaker, Mumba and Hardy. Mumba has to start because I thought that was his best performance in a long while at Southampton. And he had the goal stupidly ruled out by the, um, by the stupid officials. Uh, Whitaker, no brainer. Hardy, he's back from injury. Scored against Southampton, obviously. He's got to be back in the starting 11 today. And then bring Bundu on in the second half. That's what I'd say. It's going to be an interesting one because we drew 0 0 with the Hornets at Vicarage Road. Both teams trying to cancel each other out. It didn't happen. Ended 0 0. But yeah, I'm feeling confident for today. After the determination we showed at third in the league back on Friday. So this will be interesting. But yeah, like I said, Happy New Year. First episode of 2024, episode 26 of the season. And we start the 1st of January, New Year's Day, with a home game. Come on, boys. Let's beat Watford. We're joined by Mark, a Watford fan. Obviously, first of all, Happy New Year. Hello, and to you as uh, well. <laughs> How are you feeling coming to Home Park today? I'm a bit worried about Morgan Whitaker. I've been reading about him on The Athletic, so we've got to watch out for him today. He's okay. moving and his pace, and also um, the lady, uh, the fullback, he's quite quick, isn't he? The one you, he came from Norwich, didn't he? Bally Mumba, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so he should have pacey, scored against yeah. Southampton, obviously. Yeah, so hard, Hardy as well, got to watch out for yeah, him. Yeah, he scored against Saints as well. We've so. got, we got a few missing today, so, you know, it could... Uh, I know Bio's missing, he's suspended, yeah, isn't he? Is, yeah, he got sent off against Stoke, so he'll be missing. So. What happened with that then? Like, was it a red it card and all that? Yeah, oh, yeah, was it? Yeah, oh, so him being stupid, basically. Yeah, he, got, he retaliated, he got shoved over and then got up and pushed him in the face. Oh, no, so well, then. Have done that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, doesn't surprise me at all, honestly. Our main, our main striker, the number nine, is really slow, but he can finish, so if the ball gets in the box, there's a chance. Yeah, yeah. Outside Which... the box, is quite slow. So. What's the score prediction today? I'll go for a draw. Yeah. I think we'll have a couple of goals. Oh, we'll OK. 2-2, yeah, yeah. I think two, we'll two, you reckon? 2-2, yeah. I'll have a couple of, draw, a couple of goals and I think it'd be a nice exciting Funny, because our last, our last game here was a draw, 3-3 three, three with yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. I want to go one step further this time. <laughs> but I feel like this is our final game with Ju Snip and Nance as our interim managers before our new manager comes in, of course, because the obvious one buggered off to the Midlands for the money. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, but overall though, um, yeah, who do you think is going to score today for both Argyle and Watford? Oh, Hardy's always there, isn't he? Ryan Hardy. Um, yeah. Finishing, and I think something long range, I think, because you like a shot from distance, don't you? So there'll be something coming in from that. Uh... For us, Ray Ray, 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 can get the ball. Yeah, he's been playing well lately, hasn't he? He's, he's a bit slow, but he's good in the box. Okay. He can finish, so if they can get the ball to him. So is there anyone back. else? Is there, Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, carry on. Well, Healy's missing for us, I think, unless he's back in. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Reece Healy might be missing, so... Is there anyone, well, in, anyone else in general? As, as, as for, Spria will play well for Yeah, that's for is another one, yeah. Is there anyone else for Watford we should look out for today? Quick, yeah, no, he's a player. shoot from distance, you know, so... And the Georgian guy, Chaka Fatsa. Oh, yeah, but none yeah. of these players play for 90 minutes. They all, they all come in. I'm trying to remember my mind from the game in yeah, August yeah. at the 0-0. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we both played well that game and yeah. I, I can't lie I was bricking because I thought you were going to win it at the end and then and then minute the whistle blew I was like oh, I'm chuffed with that nil nil because I had us to lose to Watford as well you're up there in the top six to start with it? something like, like that yeah, yeah. I, mean, I expected it anyway to be yeah, honest yeah, so totally as long as we don't go down I'm happy with that so and is there anyone for us you're nervous for today in general well, it's got to be Hardy and um, Morgan Whitaker isn't it so, yeah. Yeah, yeah and you've got a good keeper as well haven't you yeah. The guy that was, he was injured quite a well, while. Michael Cooper, yeah. he's out injured again. Oh, injured he's not again. back till oh, March, yeah. uh, end of February, probably when we play Middlesbrough. Yeah, yeah. Because he was getting good reviews in the league one last season. No, he's, he's doing very well. Yeah, yeah. He's on very well. So we've got Connor Hazard in goal today, so he'll be our, it's our backup. But yeah. where do you think you'll finish this season at the moment, now that we're at the midway point of the year? Probably about where we are, I think. I think we might just miss out. Unless we, if we can get the top six in the next uh, couple of weeks, the next month, I, I, I believe, you know, like so. Um, you know, but as I say, I, I think we'd be happy not to be. Like last season, we lost so many away games. Yeah, you know, we lost three, three one at Blackpool, four, four nil away at Swansea. You know, we got some, got some real big beatings. No, hundred percent. It's been better this season. So, so where, where do you think you will finish? Uh, you to pick a number between sixth and tenth. Yeah. Go on, pick yeah. one. <laughs> if you had to pick one, seventh. That's good. That's not bad. To be fair. It's an improvement from last season, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And where do you think we'll finish at the moment? Hopefully, just outside the bottom three. I think there's a lot of fight here. I think that uh, it's still quite a big thing for you to be back at this level. Okay. Here, so I don't think you'll probably nineteenth, eighteenth. Yeah, I think you'll beat teams like Birmingham. Now that we're at the midway point of the season, can you give me 
the three clubs you reckon that will go up and the three that will go down? And obviously the third club being the, the playoff winner. Uh, I'd say uh, Leicester, Southampton, uh, Ipswich all leads. So you can hit some form there. God, if you had to choose yeah. one. What, to go up? Yeah, if no, you had Leicester, to choose one. Leicester, yeah. No, no, I mean oh, out of oh, well, Ipswich or Leeds. Oh, um, Ipswich, I think. You go Ipswich, yeah, there's okay. There's always someone a little bit unexpected in the top yeah. six. Yeah. That's why I said to people yeah. yesterday going on Discord, going, I oh, wouldn't rule Hull or Sunderland out. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. dark horses Teams for me. Time, it just like exactly. Yeah. And then the three going down. Uh, Rotherham look like can't really score goals, can they? No. They can't sign many players. Um, who else we got down there? Um, well, I think Gloman will probably have enough good players, but used to fancy they might get dragged into They it. might do. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it depends if they sack Rooney before yeah, the end yeah, of the season. Yeah. Huddersfield, I would think. Would be you think Huddersfield will go down this season? Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. And what about the last one? Oh, blimey. Um, There's a few down there. QPR, Stoke, Wednesday, Swansea, Millwall. Uh, they're all improving a bit, aren't they? Swansea got the draw at Coventry. I'd say, um, I'd say I still fancy Millwall might get dragged into it. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think they score enough goals. Now, fair enough. Such a boring team. <laughs> I <don't think laughs> I mean, they've been in League One before in my lifetime, yeah, so yeah, it wouldn't shock yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I'll go for those. But, you know, how it is, it's very difficult. Nah, to fair it. enough. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask is, if you, um, could you give me your favourite Watford chant, if possible? Don't have to chant it. But well, like... It's usually something about loot and loot and get bad, but they don't get loot and so oh, fair so enough. these days, yeah. So it's usually something about loot. Fair enough. So. And that's the other thing I wanted to ask. Yeah. Um, apart from looting, can you give me, because I, I always want to ask yeah. fans this on Curiosity, but apart from Luton, can you give me your most hated club uh, in the country? Probably and Palace. also the most hated club in London for probably you? Palace for us. Yeah. Palace, yeah. or in general, both yeah. London and after Luton. And they've just, you know, living in the moment, enjoying it, you know, but we, had, we did have some close games, but they, they certainly got the upper hand. Of no, That's fair enough. <laughs> right then, I've got, to, I'll, um, I've got to enter turnstiles in a minute, but we're back. We start the new year with a home game. Watford, nil nil. Um, we went Vicarage Road. I didn't just go. Richard went as well. <laughs> I went as well, yeah. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling for today, though? Uh, I think we went a point. I've gone one nil Argyle. What one, do you reckon? One one. We don't have Phil. Our defence too bit shaky, and we got a lot of base. Yeah. But if we don't win to he would be a bonus for the new yeah. manager when he come in. Yeah, no, that's true. No, I've been heard that um, Simon Hallett is here today. Yeah, so I, I have a feeling him. the new manager will be at Home Park today. Yeah, I saw Simon Hallett earlier, so yeah. That must surely mean he'll be ready then for the Sutton game in the FA Cup. Yeah, but Jack to feel pain today, so I doubt he'll be forced to. Jack to feel pain oh, today. I don't want Paul nah. Kirk. I don't want Paul Kirk. Here yeah. he is. Oh. Steve's joined. <laughs> Yeah. So you reckon 1-1? One, one. I'm going 1-0. One, one, one. Mumba to get revenge on that sham, scamming Southampton Matt, game. Yeah, that decision was awful. Was Did you go, Steve? No, I didn't. No. Oh, mate, no. It was, I was not. I went mental the full no. time. So, yeah. It was very tight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, uh, he was outside looking back yeah, at the footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of went off on a strop at Hitchin <laughs> Bridge at full time. So to do my full-time part. Well, do you know what you were saying about the uh, how I didn't really want to hurt you? Yeah, no, it's... Same thing again, Coventry, Ipswich, just I... Too many at the moment. I'm just, I, as long as we bloody stay up now, that's all I care about. Yeah. So, which I still maintain and believe we will. Uh, same here, I believe we will, yeah. Yeah, but no, who are you nervous for today for Watford? Uh, well, I said winner, I don't know if Naomi got a win. Radovic, Asprilla. The Bondi fed and a... Martinez? Will. Oh, Martins, yeah, Martins, Martins yeah, yeah, he's been playing well. There's no bio today, he's injured. Oh, and Matt the Joker, yeah. Yeah, but I ain't going to underestimate his mail because he's a very good manager in my uh, eyes. I don't he nearly took Barnsley up because they were in the playoffs with him. I don't know that Rich Ely, he were living at Idol for a year back. Oh, yeah, and that as well. And is there anyone today that Watford should be nervous for for us? Uh, more than, I think more than. What do you reckon, Steve? Um, I reckon all those from 1 to 11, basically. <laughs> <laughs> as it should, as it should. <laughs> Oh, they're live Matt doing all right now. Yeah, no, it'll be very interesting to see. But no, we got the new we got the owner in, we got Hallett in today, so which probably means the new manager's in. So it looks like whoever our new manager is, the first game will be the Huddersfield game for him in the championship. Oh, yeah. Sutton for the FA Cup. But yeah, I'm still going one 0 Argyle. Mumba to score, get revenge on Southampton. Who's but John Eustace or Scott Parker, yeah, one of those two. Do I don't think we'll get Mowbray because yeah, he's so far Odin, up in the North East. Dean Oden being the full hard on Matt. Yeah. Matt the rumour, Dean Oden does the full hard Yeah, I don't want to do, I don't want to have Dean Oden, yeah. He's he, I don't for me he hasn't proved himself at Charlton no. yeah when he got sacked, so And Bristol City. Yeah, he was at Bristol City to be fair, no. If it was up to me it'd be one of John Eustace or Scott Parker, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah, John we'll Eustace see. I wouldn't mind Scott Parker because even though he complained about the budget size at Bournemouth. 
He's a top-notch championship manager. He knows he can. He, who knows he can climb a certain table? Yeah, but we'll see. I can't trust him though, because after what Shuey's done, I can't trust any manager anymore. So there yeah. we go. But yeah, um, we're gonna head into the ground now. Let's hopefully get three points. Come on, Argyle. Right. After what happened at Southampton, we're gonna start off 2024. Hopefully, we're back with a bang. New Year's, it's New Year's Day, Watford at home, as you can see there. Oh, mate. That didn't zoom out, idiot. But yeah, that, that's who we have. Come on, boys. Underway, Argyle Watford. We're back home. Happy New Year again, everyone. That's the amount Watford's brought. Similar to what we brought to Vicarage Road back in August. Big game today. I want. I want some. I want some making up to do from Southampton. Decent defence there from Watford. Very good defending. Green and white, Barbie Army! Oh. Oh. Now, can I just say, as you all know, is that if anyone deserves a goal today, it's Bally Mumba. Wind me up, it winds me up that Saints game, honestly. What could have been? And now we're up against the team who drew 0 0 with us at the start of the season. A very good point that was at Vicarage Road. I won't take a point today, I want to win today. Terrible start for us there. That's my prediction out the window already. One nil Watford. For crying out loud. That's it. Randall does need to prove himself today after Southampton. Have a go, Hardy. Oh, you are taking the mick. We've hit the bloody bar. Post. It's looking better though. Because that start was really sluggish when Watford scored. That's it. Finn is Whitaker. Oh, good save. But have the follow-up. Keep going, yes. boys. Keep pushing. Yes. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Not better. It's a lot better. Come on, I'll go. 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 Elton John FC. Oh, 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 
We made such a terrible start. That is how you respond. Azaz was an absolute masterclass of a strike. 1-1, one, one, game's back on. And it's all gone quiet, all gone quiet, all gone quiet over there. i tell you what, Harvey and I criticised Randall during our Southampton game, but he's made up for it so far. Incredible. He's made up for it so far today. Brilliant from Adam. Jesus. That's it. That's it. Push forward. Push forward, Ben. Ryan's in front of you. As is Morgs. It's Morgs now. Come on. Yes! The mighty Argyle. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? How we've turned that round, I don't know. That's much more like it from the boys in green. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, get in. I love being at home. Oh my god, come on. Ryan. Oh, good save, good save. Hang on, keep us lost. How the hell did we miss that? I don't know whether this would be a different game if that was Backman in goal. Because I know Watford fans haven't raised rated him. Corner, header from Scar. Goal. And now it is 2 2. Please don't tell me we are going to be in for another Birmingham game. Because that's the way it's going at the moment. It's 2 2. Bloody hell, game on. Oh. Go on, Bally! Go on, Bally! I just hope he scores today. Randall! Same old, every again. It's like we haven't left Southampton. That's it! Look who's on your right! where we're supposed to be. We can't hit a barn door away from home. This is us. Morgan's on his right. He's passed. He's found Morgan. Go on. Go on. Ah, too, too late. Too late and too high. Shoot. Whitaker. Ah. Oh, wait. Yes. Ah. Half time. We're three, two up. I'm very happy with that first half, but Watford are playing so exceptionally well. I think this is a battle of fitness at the moment. So there we are, half time. Three to up. I said 
we need to take note on the absolute heartbreak that happened at Southampton. That's exactly what we've done so far, 3-2 up. So we're in the lead, happy days, and huge confidence going into our relegation battle with Huddersfield next weekend. But Watford have scored two goals, and I'm sorry, our defence, as much as I'm happy with us winning at the moment, and I just hope Mumba gets a goal after what he performed at Southampton. But our defence, I'm sorry, has been shambolic yet again. No wonder those two goals went in from Watford. They're giving us a game, so it's not over yet. And, well, this doesn't surprise me considering this was a stale-gating nil-nil at Vicarage Road. And we're close again this time as well. So there we are. No wonder we're right near each other in the table, or near enough, but yeah. Our defence needs work to do, and now that it's New Year's Day, like Harvey said to me, which I'm going to get on to him in a minute, I think the bit we need to strengthen on the most, this January transfer window, is an, indeed our defence. And today is another example why. What's the make of that? Yeah, I, I, exactly what uh, Jack said. I did say it on uh, the other way. way. Yeah, you did. But... Today, um, they brought a goal first, and uh, we got the uh, we got the late Christmas present really, and a New Year's Day surprise. Five goals, um, three beauties, one from the size, that's goal of the season. No, that's goal of the season. Oh, um, without a doubt. That's goal of the season. Um, Kone's, we've got to be honest, that is a beauty oh, as well. Oh yeah, that, that, that shot from the, literally just on the edge, literally in the inside of the edge of the box, bang top corner near post. That's yeah. absolutely disgusting. And. What did you make of Watford's first goal? The one that was terrible for us at the beginning. No marking yet again from a throw-in where we were leaving a man inside the box Sorry, and it was so poor again. It's been the same thing over and over again and we're just not we're just not learning from our mistakes. It's another reason why we need to prevent we're not from our mistakes. It's so poor. Yeah, I agree. Overall though, who do you make as our best player so far? Uh, I feel, also, I'm going to say, feel bad for Liam because he's not here today and he's missed out on a goal fest. So, tough luck. I'm just saying that right now. We'll, well just take the L from that. Um, he's lucky to not be at Southampton when he was looking at Mumba goal the whole day. I can't imagine what he would have said in the background. Oh, you know, you uh, fold, fold. Literally, literally, I can't get over. I know it's so irritating, but I can't get over how hilarious it was when Coventry scored that goal. It's just pure grumpiness from me or Rosemary or Harvey England. But then in the corner, we have a. That was out, you cheating mug! <laughs> no, who's our best player so far today then? Oh, Phyllis has no a doubt. He has been the main player in that midfield that's been driving us up the field, controlling the possession. Um, his passes have been phenomenal. He's got an assist, he's got a goal, and it's thoroughly deserved. Makes up for the Southampton game as well, so I thought he was quiet, so... Yeah. Whitaker as well, he scored his goal that he thoroughly deserves as his 13th of the season Well, he's now. bang on form now, isn't yeah. he, Wolves? Dennis has, I think mean, that's his 6th or 7th of the season. Something like that, but no, Whitaker's bang on form at the moment, that tells you everything. And Ryan Hardy, he's still going, he's still scoring goals. He should have had two. It's just brilliant to have him back, isn't it? Yeah, he should have had two. Best player for Watford so far. Martins and Kone. Martins... That doesn't that surprise Martins me. Martins on that right-hand side is having... He's got... Literally, oh, our defence is departing like the Red Sea. He's got so much space on that right-hand side, and he ducked and if he'd done Valley Mumba, he could have scored. It's just poor again, we're relieving yeah. so much space. Absolutely. Yeah, fair enough. So where do you see us going from here now, second half? Um, I, I just, uh, well... But what do you think Juice Slip and Nance Well, I'm going to say this, um, I'm going to say this as um, my dad messaged me saying, get in there, I don't see this being only 3-2, I see there are more goals in it. I totally agree. I think this could be, a, there could be a lot more goals in the second half. You never know, this could be a 6-3. I don't know. So, right, the other scores, I don't know. So Sunderland won 2-0 against Preston, I didn't see that, now I know. So it's 1-1 one, one at Ewood Park, 0-0 nil, nil at Bristol City, 2-0 nil Leeds, 1-0 Leicester, or oh, Bamford and Daniel James, 1-1 yeah. one, one at Borough Coventry, that's my prediction, funnily enough, 0-0 nil, nil at Carrow Road, Cardiff are winning at Loftus Road, I huge that, win for Cardiff in I that stage like that. I put 1-0 as well. I put 0-0, nil, nil, so that's out of the window. Yeah, so Stoke good. Ipswich goalless, Swansea West Brom goalless. I'm waiting for the moment, you know what's coming, guys. 
Simon Hallett is here today, so oh, we it? have a feeling the new manager, whoever it is, is here today. Oh. So I have a feeling, I mean, he's going to surely be in if Hallett's in today. Well, not precisely, not precisely. That's what we were saying earlier. Well, but not precisely. It's looking likely that we're going to get our new manager for either the Sutton game in the FA Cup or for our next away game at Dogs FC Huddersfield. Oh, right, here's the table so far. 60, let's keep it that way. F hell, look at Preston. That's Hi. how badly it's gone wrong for Ryan Lowe lately. Hi, Preston. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> and then let's get the top half. Well, that's brilliant news for Leeds, seeing both Ipswich and Southampton not winning at the moment. So they'll be four points behind Southampton, and that is seven points behind Ipswich. Leicester is now miles ahead. Just give stands. Leicester the title. Ten ready points. Ten points. Well, not necessarily the title, but promotion. Yeah, ten points clear. They're going to win the title. Yeah, I think they are anyway. It looks like a battle for second at the moment. I hope it's not that way. I don't want Leicester to run away with it. It'll be boring. Boring. B -b 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 boring. Let's get three points. Come on. Right, important second half. Let's make it count, guys. Valerian Ismail will want a reaction. See what I mean? Get rid of it. Jesus Christ. Exactly what we were saying. That could have been 3-3. Three, three. It's Whittaker. It's Whittaker. Oh. Nearly four, nearly four, nearly four. Don't give it to them. Frick off. Oh. defence has been absolutely crap. Not another 3-3. Three, three. Not another 3-3. Three, three. We're going on a winless run, as it stands. Even if it means drawing. And when was our last win? Rotherham at home. And who was our manager then? They're battering us this second half. I think it looks like Randall's going to take it. Whitaker's around it though as well, yeah. Whitaker, it's Whitaker. Follow up! On a fourth, another 3-3 free -free at home, Argyle. Middlesbrough, Birmingham, I don't want it again today. Oh, what a save by Hamer, Jesus. Hey! I hope so. He's one of our own. So Saka's on for Hardy. Good defending. He had to get there because either way, the Hornets have got a corner. decision here and he hasn't given it oh was he okay not a bad free kick it would have been had that been given it is it is will we actually score from it this time oh yeah come on Alex says yes Alex does say yes it's coming we've had a couple of sniffs at it 87 minutes in is Alex is calling it. Yeah, missed it last time. Missed it the time before. Third time lucky. Argyle, on, please. Please. 
please? Pretty please? With a cherry on top? Yeah, and that. Well, it would be that if bloody Scott Parker becomes our new bloody manager, doesn't he? Water now. Hey, yeah, that's the spirit. That's it. Bring him back. There's only one Paul Watton. Bring him back. That's my favourite. Oh, he would. That's my favourite Argyle player. Yeah. Time. Hang on. Oh, the Watford Wall hasn't finished yet. Oh, they've gone on the attack. Bloody hell. Tika. So. Repeat Stoke and Rotherham all over again. We're in stoppage time. Oh, another cracking save by Hamer. Jesus Christ. Corner. Oh, again. That feels like thrown away, that does. We have to have another 3-3 free free this season. That's worse than Birmingham and Borough in my opinion. But there we are, we'll go on to that in a second. Birmingham, we came back from being behind. Middlesbrough the exact same. But we were winning for this one. I, I, I would have won this one today, oh, that's annoying. But, you know what this means now after that result? Huddersfield is a must six pointer. It's a six pointer, must three points. But we got FA Cup now. Sutton, this weekend. Happy New Year's, Jack, another free free. That feels like three points dropped, but three points dropped, sorry, two points dropped. But, like I said, it could be a lot worse. FA Cup next against Sutton. And then we go on to Huddersfield. So there we are. We start off Home Park of 2024 with a draw and another bloody free free. So yeah, onto the FA Cup and Huddersfield. Happy New Year. Right, New Year's and we're back at the Taverners and I've had a lovely drink. Oh dear. Right guys, that is the end of that video then. Uh, I ain't going to film the outro outside because it's just been soaking wet lately. So it's it's just going to be in here for a change. But also, um, again, the reason why this episode's been up so much later than all the other ones so far this season. Again, apologies for that. The reason being, there has been a lot been going on about who Argyle's new manager is and what's happening with our transfer window so far. So that is why I thought I'd give it till today recording this on putting the outro out here now so there's more that's been going on lately before we play Sutton on Saturday but yeah before we go into that second part either way it ended full time Plymouth free Watford free surprisingly I thought a lot of people were really happy with this result but I wasn't I wasn't at all I felt like it was two points drops personally it's, it's just another free free and that's what does my head in Middlesbrough, 
was all right because we came back from that. And also we took each other apart either way. Birmingham were the better team when we drew 3-3 with them. And we came back with that. We were 3-1 down for cry out loud. So I was happy with the point. But Watford felt different. And that is being that we blew a 3-2 lead. We could have won the game. We could have been 16th in the table. We could have had our eighth win of the season after that. But no, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Watford got a third goal in the second half. And that's what got them the points. And to be fair, before I go into Argyle, I have to give Watford full credit because they fully deserved three, um, three points. Watford fully deserved the points during that, in my opinion, personally. I thought they played very well. Kone had an exceptional game. Martins had an exceptional game. And no wonder we're, we're not far from each other in the table because we drew 0-0 at Vicarage Road and then to draw 3-3 at home park with them. None of us, Neither of us two can beat each other. Which sums up both matches, really. But as for us, what a performance Zaz had, what a performance Whitaker had, what a performance Hardy had. Which doesn't surprise me, they've all been exceptional. And yeah, I'm glad at least we got the point. But I would have had three because we did blow a 3-2 lead. But yeah, Watford played really well. They fully deserved the point. But going back to us, going back to Azaz, there has been some news speculating for Azaz. And that is also why the outro has come out so much later than usual, because I thought I'd put all my thoughts in together regarding all this. But if you haven't seen the Argyle news yet lately, Finazaz has completely departed our club. And he has gone back to Aston Villa from his loan spell. And he's been recalled by his parent club, Aston Villa. And it looks set that he's about to join Middlesbrough. And become one of their new midfielders. Which doesn't surprise me. Because I know Borough's been looking for a new midfielder this January transfer window. But I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I'm gutted. I'm gutted. He's been one of our best players this season. But I guess you can't keep them forever. However, it is gutting because we have fallen in love with Azaz this season. He's really stepped up, I feel, from what he did last season. Even though... On his day last season, he played really well. But honestly, honestly, I'm actually... This might be an unpopular opinion, but I'm not that annoyed that we've um, that he's gone back to Villa. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason being, first of all, he's not necessarily one of our players, is he? Because he's on loan from Villa. But second of all... I know we can replace Azaz. We've got Callum Wright in our team, who we know is a brilliant player. He's very underrated in my eyes. I think he's actually our most underrated player for Argyle. Callum Wright can replace him in the team. He can step up, like he did during the second half of last season. Luke Cundall, another one that can step up. And he's been brilliant for us this season. And Mustafa Bundu, another one that can step up, who can play up front with Whitaker and Hardy. And Bundu is class, so as long as he doesn't get injured again, that's all I care about. But yeah, I'm honestly not that worried about Azaz leaving, as long as we don't get rid of anyone else. Because if we get rid of anyone else, especially Whitaker, if we get rid of Whitaker, then yeah, we absolutely have to worry. But either way, it is a shame. I'm not that worried for now, so I know that feels a bit optimistic, but I'm not that worried that Azaz has gone. But that's only because I trust all of the rest of our players, to be honest, apart from two, Tyrick Wright and Lewis Warrington. But I want to take this opportunity and say to Finn Azaz a massive, massive thank you for everything you have done for our football club over the last two seasons. You've been absolutely exceptional and amazing. What a player. What a player, honestly. Please go and smash it in Middlesbrough if you do. Honestly, you've been absolutely superb for us. And you couldn't have ended your time here at Argyle any better than our goal of the season so far this season. It is heartbreaking that you're going, Finn. But honestly, mate, thanks so much for everything. From me, the Argyle way and everyone across Janaland at Plymouth Argyle Football Club. You've won a place in our hearts. Once a Janna, always a Janna. Thank you, Finn. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'd love to see you come back some point soon. I really do. Honestly, yeah, thank you so much, Finn. Mean the world for that. You really do. 
And yeah, the other news is, is that Argyle's new favourite for being our manager is Ian Foster, who was assistant to Steven Gerrard in Saudi Arabia. He's now looking like he's going to take over, but I'm going to make a new video on that. So please stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's all I can say, really. We'll see you for Sutton for the FA Cup on Saturday. But if Ian Foster does get announced as our new manager completely, there will be my reaction on it. So stay tuned for that. Up the Janners, up the Argyle, up the Greens, up the Pilgrims, up the Plymouth. Come on, you boys in green, and we will see you for the FA Cup this weekend against Sutton at home. Take care, guys. Cheerio. When they pull on the green, they're all Janners. Janners!